Welcome everyone. It is Sandra Alexa here and I want to thank you for taking the time. I'm going to share some cosmic messages this morning for you. Um, if you look underneath in the show me section, you'll see my website. It's called My Personal Muse. I'm a spiritual and business coach. I do astrology. I'm an author. I've written four different books, different subjects, and if you go to the top, you'll see the last one. It's the new model of relationships. Um, it's called Game Changer, and it's about the Aquarian relationships and why we're having such a breakdown in relationships right now. Okay, so today is actually May the 24th, and I've just been on a um, journey, I would say a road trip. Um, coming from Alberta, and I'm actually in in Duncan, B.C., and my granddaughters. So you will see a little kitty. There's two little kitties and little puppies. So I'm surrounded by that and surrounded by the beauty of nature and a moving river. Okay? And so I want to share the latest. Also, I put this on Facebook, okay? So I have Game Changer, my personal news, and my personal one. So if you want to see the actual dates, okay? And I'd appreciate it if you would comment. If you comment and your name is drawn once a month, you get a, a, a free mini reading. I would really appreciate it if you would share this video. And also, if you would subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe and push the pers personal button then what happens is when I do a video then you will receive it so much love and many blessings and let's get started okay so I do have to say this is about mercury retrograde but also the new moon okay and so I've already done this once and lost it so it's been a very interesting mercury so I say have you felt kind of in wonderland and overwhelmed the energetic shifts can be contributing. I hope I have clarified for you in this video the parts of the whole of this moment in time. We are having to be very conscious, very focused and grounded as we weather the potent energy, um, energetic shifts personally and collectively. There's lots going on. Well, finally, on June the 3rd, we have a new moon at 9 degrees of Gemini. Now, a new moon is all about new beginnings. However, this is a very interesting energetic shift when we consider all the cosmic cards, okay, that are being played at this moment in time. Well, I have to say, this has been the most intense Mercury retrograde I have experienced for a long time. Now, let us consider that Mercury, which rules Gemini, has been retrograde since May the 10th at 4 degrees of Gemini. Then on May the 23rd, okay, it moves retrograde at 29 degrees, which is a critical degree. So watch June 3rd or watch um, May 23rd. And then it goes direct on June, on June the 3rd. But it goes direct at 26 degrees of Taurus. So we have two different energies here. Okay. Totally different energies as Mercury feels strong and practicality uh, and practical, which rules the mind, how influencing how we think and communicate. Mercury stabilized and determined is energized, okay, by Taurus as now it turns ideas into real plans. So we take them from the ephemeral and we make them very practical. And again, new beginnings. So go for it. Like we have Jupiter in Aries, we have um, Mars in, in Aries. So we have lots going on. Now, then we experience this new moon at nine degrees of Gemini, May 30th. So considering the intense eclipses are game changers and last for at least six months, there will be changes and new beginnings. Okay, put all the pieces of this puzzle together. 
Whenever a planet goes retrograde, it's about the re... So you reassessed, you reorganized, you re-edited, you rethought, you reanalyzed, you redid, and frequently deal with what, what um, you were planning and things from the past that needed to be released, okay? Mercurial items are like communication, so you had to ensure that you were learning and you were making sure that you understood what was going on and anything on the text or the phone. You needed to ensure that you doubled up and checked your and checked your uh, uh, appointments, okay? And any agreements. So there can be challenges with agreements, okay? And make sure that your computer and technology was done. And the bottom line is, I said, I redid one video and it already got lost. So then we're still experiencing the eclipse energy. Okay. And so prior to these eclipses and for six months, there's many changes coming through. All the planetary cycles and themes for 2022, let me tell you, this are intense. Because there is a shift is there shocking disclosures there's truth that's coming out okay expanding the consciousness uh game changers so there's going to be tipping point tipping points and there's going to be pivoting okay now eclipses are the wild cards okay so shifts we shifts are as we just experienced we just experienced a new moon eclipse at 10 degrees of taurus on april 30th then the Taurus, Scorpio, Lunar, Nodal Eclipse, and planets that rule love, money, beauty, power, transformation, intensity, sensuality, which is all about the universal cycles of birth and death. That's what you have to understand. It's a universal cycle, okay, and of growth and destruction. We've been going through this since 2008, the purpose was to surrender to the natural cycles of life and to be open to change. Then May 16th, we had this total full eclipse moon at 25 degrees of Scorpio. Intense energy ruled by Pluto. And we're experiencing the Taurus Scorpio nodal axis for 18 months as of January. So there will be many revelations. Also fabulous new opportunities and possibilities. The key is to understand when you release and let go, then you allow the new to enter your life. You are ready to receive new moon, okay, new moon in, in um, Gemini, new intentions, new beginnings, okay? But you got to let go of the old. Um, watching the collapse of the old order gives you clarity some shocking disclosures and alarming eliminations have you questioned why you did not know so now the new moon is beginning a new cycle with incredible opportunities again to commit to your personal goals okay wow i got a powerful gemini communication the divine source and force is with our soul and so we always talk about the mercury retrograde reassessing and listening and listening we always think it's listening collectively for me it said this time it's really important to listen to to a self eh? and and the opportunities how you can change your life jupiter and mars and aries go big incredibly exciting times as i say very frustrating at times however very re revealing and there's some truths that nobody wanted to face, but you, you don't have any choice, okay? It's like, if you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Sometimes you don't want to be pregnant, but you're pregnant, okay? Um, just a lot of things. Sometimes somebody moves to the other side, and you don't want them to. It's the truth. It's happening, okay? And when I talk about truth, it's really funny, because I debate and discuss with a lot of spiritual people it's like sandra the truth and i go you know what all i know is if i have five five scales here and i get on the scale to weigh myself i might be one pound difference in each one of the scales but i still get the truth of my weight the next thing i know truth is because i'm very practical is that 
at the end of the month when I get my bank balance, I'm not going to debate it. That's truth. So I face it. I work with it. Okay. Revelation. So the new beginning with this new moon. So strategize, strategize now some new possibilities and opportunities. A great time to have a personal self-discovery session. Out of the box thinking. Uh, what is it you needed to see? Shocking disclosures. Contemplate the energies of these words. Okay. Worth, value, wealth, prosperity, abundance, aspiration. Okay. And an attitude of gratitude and grace and faith and trust. So much love and many blessings. And as I said before, I do hope that you comment. So I put your name in for the, for the free draw once a month. I would really love it if you would subscribe. And if you share and enjoy all the newness, much love.